The last two places we need to cover on this application are the expense and employee areas. So let's go ahead and take the one at a time. We're going to take the expense screen. What is the expense screen? It's pretty straightforward, actually. Uh, this is done on a monthly basis where you're running each individual month through the calendar year and you're summarizing all the items that are cost items that are not billable to a client. That's simple. So they're overhead expenses is what they are. So anything that comes out of overhead are things that you have to pay for out of pocket that come out of your bottom line as a company. This is very important information to have. Most people don't realize it, but if you have issues with your cash flow in a company, you can go in here and you can look and see where your cash flow may be going as far as your product or services expenses that were not charged to a client. This can obviously push you to make situations where you may want to uh, charge the client. For example, uh, let's say you're buying pet shampoo or those as an example, and you're expending cash for the pet shampoo, but you're charging it as overhead items because you don't use that much of it per client. It may make sense to include that in your services cost on an individual basis for each pet that you do or sell the product to the client and then when you go to their uh, location have them provide the shampoo that you're giving them back to you so you can use it. It's your Obviously you can make the choice as far as your business practices and policies the way you want to do that. But that's those little creeping costs come into your uh, your business and can run your business way out of sight as far as uh, overhead expenses. This is one place where your costs can get out of control as far as your cash flow is concerned. What would go here? Well, any expense that is not charged to a client. It can be your fuel costs for vehicle transportation. It could be any of the consumables that you're using with a uh, service or product. They could be anything that you have to purchase for the business that's related to the actual uh, services that you're providing. Say, for example, consumables. Maybe your trimmers or your whatever uh, need to have replacements on them monthly or whatever. Or let's get down to the brass tacks. If a part of your business is uh, repairs on a vehicle that is a company vehicle, then the company repair vehicle stuff would be taken care of. Uh, if you have expenses where you have a uh, in a shop in your own home or your business, then it would be all the expenses like utilities, gas, water, garbage, all those kind of expenses on a monthly basis that you would be adding into the overhead here. So that being said, those are overhead items. There is a portal where if you want to delete it or edit a row on any one of these as far as changing it, you can go into the portal record. There is a invoice portal also included here where if you wanted to take any kind of a document and make a copy of it and put it into the system that is related to the actual expense, you can go ahead and add that to the screen. And as you can see for that month, you can add as many of those invoices as you need to as far as copies. This actually can be done if you have an iPad. You can take a picture of the actual item or you can scan it through a scanner and then put it into here. And that would give you a running record of the individual items. In the portal record for this, there's a large view like we've had in the other ones. It has the picture ID, which you do not edit, but you can put the information for that particular screen as to what it is that you have in here. To return, click this button to come back here. Uh, obviously, you can do fines, but you cannot do fine in a portal. So if you need to go do a fine, you can do a fine in here by the name of the item if it were not in a portal, but you can do a fine in any field that is not a portal field. If you want to go do a fine, the best thing to do if you want to look up an individual item is go to the portal and do any one of these fields in the individual portal for taking and doing a find. Uh, there is an actual expense listing. The expense listing shows you the expenses totals for that particular month. And then there's an expense report. And in the expense report, it's very similar to the billing and the payment, where it has the individual monthly information, and it's sub-summarized, and then it's grand summarized as far as the record summary and the grand summary down here as far as the report's concerned. This kind of a report is normally used by your bookkeeping person to track your overhead expenses as a total 
And if you wanted to have the individual ones, you can always give them, if they have to have it, the individual listing view for the month by month as far as the item grand totals. And if they need the individual information as far as the items, you can go ahead and present them with a, uh, a view and capture these screens here. This can be done in the landscape print view if you need to, and it would list all the items through the month. If you have any questions, as usual, you can go ahead and contact me. And it, by the way, before I leave, notice that this is an add OK type of a screen, so you can create new months for each one of these by clicking on the new Add New Record Month in this area. Thank you for taking this video.